Hey everyone, AJ here, and what we're gonna do is, uh, you know, we're back with another episode of just building a website in Webflow. Um, yesterday we created a really cool landing page, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add another section and a nav bar. And this section is gonna be just uh, displaying, you know, my brand and the companies I own and you know, just just to give you a, a, a brief overview on on uh, Webflow, right? I'm gonna show you how cool it is. Create some custom cards and add this nav bar. So let's go ahead and add this nav bar. Bring this up to the top here. Let's call this uh, nav main. Nav main. Let's come in here. Let's delete you. Delete you and. Let's nav tab so we're gonna come over here to the nav main and we're gonna make this guy transparent and actually you know what I'm gonna make him not transparent 100% and let's make him fixed though and top of the page and then you're gonna be 17 with an FF, okay? Home, let's copy, copy. Let's go companies, and then yeah. So for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna do that, and we'll add a little we'll add a little picture of myself up there. I hate doing this, but. It's the best way I can show you example. I hate talking about myself, but hold on. Let's uh, let's definitely, definitely want to show you how cool Webflow is for sure. So let me add this picture. Pictures, and let's make this HDMI, and let's make this like 50. Okay, and back to the brand. Icon, uh, nav icon, come in here, nav, uh, let's go with icon, okay, and we're going to come in here, let's do one of these, and like this, actually don't need that, um, yeah, so I'm actually going to make this 40 by 40. And what I'll do here is bring this container and okay, uh, that's all I wanted. Let's go back to this. And what we can do here, we can actually just. I wonder if I do a little auto here. Yeah, auto here. Nope, didn't work. It's all good. So what we can do is do a little one VH maybe. There we go. Center. All right. So nav's up and running. What we're going to do now is come in here and let's call this company wrapper. So I should make this lowercase w. Okay, sweet. Come in here again, add another div. And I'm just gonna come in here and just do company content. All right. And come in here and we're gonna do this 100 VH again. Right. Come into this guy. And let's, uh, let's make them 100% but a thousand pixels. Okay, and we're gonna come in here, I'm gonna add a flex box like we did last time. And now we have our div right in the middle. Right, so we just did a flex box, horizontal, align, middle, middle. And now we have our, 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 um, our card here. 
So I'm going to come in here and add a grid. And I'm going to add a column. And I'm going to delete a row. I'm going to come back to this is going to be called company grid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this to the center vertically. Okay. Come in here, add a div like this. And I'm just going to actually call this card card company card and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a card so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what 250 wide by 300 350 looks cool and in here I'm gonna give a header uh, I'm going to give an image. I'm going to give a, you know, what I'm actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to add another div in between here. And I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to call this uh, top, uh, card top. Okay. And in here, I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an image and I'm going to have how long I've been working on it for. So a text. And this is definitely going to be horizontal. And let's make sure. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to come in here, upload. And for Clava. Let's go to name and let's do Clava logos and let's grab you. And then for my studio, we're going to come in here and grab the company materials and do the same, uh, do the same thing. And actually, uh, this is called. clips I'm going to bring you here and what we're going to do is we're actually going to head to Figma and I'm going to export this is my product that's coming soon I'm going to export the icon so let's export this and let's go with this guy Export. Good, sure. And download. Did it not go? There, there it is. All right, cool. So we got our logos. All right. So first and foremost, let's make this uh, card image and let's go uh, card time and then card product okay this is just how I like organizing I mean it's all up to you guys at the end of the day 40 make this 40 come in here let's make a 20 radius and uh, let's go to a size of 17, 130%, and, uh, and we're going to get rid of, we're going to do a little 10 ball here, let's definitely space these out like this, and let's do three years, okay, and let's make this First, I'm actually going to do the background of this card. Let's do the background. Let's make it like. I'm so mad they got rid of the color pick picker. Okay, and then. I'm actually going to come in here and condense this stuff to about 20. Perfect. And definitely going to make this white. Okay. And. Uh, 
of a uh, app but I definitely want this way bigger so let's do like 50 by 130 percent Lava app, and what we'll do is we'll also add a a button, okay? And uh, this button will be card button. Call it learn more. And what we'll do here is we'll come in here, and we'll grab something dark, okay? And we'll do a little 20 there. Okay. And what we'll do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add 3VH and 3VH. So let's just increase this to like 6. And back a little to like four and you know I really don't like this font for this big guy here so I'm going to change it system UI let's do that and let's do that and what we'll do is I'll actually come in here and we need to give this guy some corner radius. And I need, I wonder if I can just center this guy. Cannot. So what I'll need to do is add another div to this. It's going to be called card button wrapper. Put this guy in here. guy in here and we'll just center horizontally and what we need to do is make this button bigger and make this like a 20 yeah perfect Slava app and we can maybe reduce the size of this by like 325 335 335 and let's uh, come down here and make this 35. And then I'm going to copy this. Go to box shadows. And since it's a black background, I'll probably just keep this black. So it kind of pops here. Looks like it's floating. Yeah. All right. So there's our basic card. So we're going to come in here. Copy. Copy. And now what we have to do is just add uh, two. I'm going to add two to the uh, original classes here uh, so that we can, actually, we don't need to add two here. Um, might need to add, no, we don't, actually. The only thing we need to add two to is the stuff, the colors we're actually changing. So. So this is going to be sauce designs. And so here, okay, perfect. Sauce designs. And this is going to be one year. And let's change this image to sauce designs. And with this card, let's go with like a, like a, like an orange. vibrant orange and we're gonna come in here gonna I'm actually going to grab this card background and we're gonna come in here we're gonna paste it here we're gonna take a, a darker orange I like that and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do three and uh, three, let's come in here 
grab this, grab clips, and this is going to be uh, three months. I think that's what's the abbreviate? Three months. I'll just put three months. <laughs> three months, and this is called clips app and learn more so this is uh, this is going to be like a like a gray and what i want for the body here is like a, a black all right so we got and you know what maybe i just bring these down just a smidge yeah that looks better all right so we got some three basic cards here. Um, you know, maybe I can add a background. Yes, I can. There we go. So we have three cards. Uh, like I said, we now have, you know, these three cards up and running. We have the grid, which makes it dynamic, um, makes it easy, on, you know, to style for iOS and iPad. And what I'm going to do here is actually add a heading. I'm going to bring it up here. Uh, my companies. And we're going to come in here and make this white. And it's going to be company header. All right. And we're going to come in here and give it like a, a 5VH. Okay. Keep this super simple. Maybe like a, an 8VH. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to give this an ID of companies, come to this companies tab, choose a section, companies, since this is highlighted, we're going to want to make this I'm going to make this, you're going to want to click it again so you can style it for when it's clicked. And let's make this like a, like a, like a, per, like a, like a pink. Uh, make this like a, like a green. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this is going to be, so this section right here is going to be home. And we just need to link that up. Okay. And then we need to send you guys to uh, URL, which is my website. And then www.softdesigns.io. And then if you want to learn more about this, or if you want to sign up to test it, uh, softdesigns.io, I want to try clip. All right, so if I go ahead and publish this, take might take a little while, and I open this up. We have AJ Space, nice little animation. Got AJ Space. Go to my YouTube and my companies. And I should maybe add YouTube, but. Um, Oh, you know what? You know what would be even better branding is if I went like this. AJ's space, right? Maybe I was like, put you to companies. And let's republish that. Let's refresh. And I have home. If I come down to here, I have companies. And it's AJ's space. That easy, guys. So I'm going to keep building off of this website. I might use it for my personal brand here. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to add YouTube tomorrow in my next video probably. But uh, I'm then gonna, we're going to build this whole desktop website, and then I'm going to make it responsive. We're going to add some cool animations. So make sure you tune in to next. You keep tuning into these episodes, and you go check out our first episode, with my first episode with Webflow, where we build this. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode, but I will definitely see you in the next one.